Yeah, my name is Chris Costa. I'm a, a Brazilian artist. Um, I live in the United States since 2004. And uh, I was a banker before. You know, that's a funny story because some people don't know it, even if I said so many times in forums. You know, it's like I was a banker for 15 years in Brazil, had no clue about um, English at all, didn't speak English back in 2004. Um, I was doing computer graphics as a hobby at home. I always loved arts in general. Um, but really, computer arts really was like my passion since the very beginning. I worked with this since maybe 1990, 1992 or something like that. And then, uh, you know, always doing my research at home and uh, I had the chance to work at the bank, you know, it was like a, with the computer graphics as well, like in a private TV we had there, like a TV channel, uh, just for people to learn with, uh, you know, it's like a stuff about bank, right? And then uh, I start posting some of my artwork in the web forums, like CG Talk, you know, it was like CG Channel back in the time. And then uh, start getting job offers uh, from lots of different places. And uh, after four years living in the United States, I landed my dream job at, IL at ILM, you know. Um, that's pretty much what I can say about ILM. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'm actually very happy right now. It's like a long time dream coming true. I, I got to this whole computer graphics thing after I watched uh, maybe like Jurassic Park and uh, uh, um, ah, Terminator 2, sorry. <laughs> Terminator 2. Yeah, and then uh, you I mean, like, uh, there's so many cool things I can use from my experience being an artist before of that. You know, it's like a drawing and all this stuff. I'm not drawing anymore. I feel so lazy right now. Uh, just doing computer graphics. I have to go back and do my tradi more traditional work. But I have a, I had a very good basis on uh, traditional work before, and I went to college in Brazil for fine arts for five years and. I'm going to be talking a little bit in this conference about like the importance of all this basis, you know, all the fine arts behind everything that I do, you know, it's like uh, talking a little bit about the old masters and how they figure out stuff, you know, and uh, stuff that we can use today instead of like bypassing a lot of s steps that I, I feel that sometimes people kind of like bypass important things that we should learn first. Um, using the actual reference that influence all those artists that we feel influenced by today. So let's say like uh, comics is a great reference. Uh, I mean like everybody goes crazy about the anatomy and the extreme poses and all this stuff. And some people they just forget that those guys they study the master works. You know, it's like they studied anatomy from guys from way before of that. Greek anatomy, you know, it's like Greeks, Romans, you know, it's like all the 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 studies done by like uh, Albrecht Durer, Durer and uh, you know, it's like uh, Michelangelo and all those guys, Bernini. So I think we should be looking back to those guys first, and then of course, once you you pretty much you have this basis, you can create wherever you want with that. Just like Pablo Picasso that had like this amazing like basis about. Uh, like uh, realistic forms and everything. He knew everything since he was a kid. He was a, uh, you know, it was like he was 14 and he already knew all this stuff. You know, it was like he was painting realistic stuff when he was a kid. And then all of a sudden he figured his own thing, you know, it was like he decided to go to another direction. And I think that's pretty much what uh, artists should know, you know, it's like know everything about the basis and then go from there and create your own thing. You know? uh, because it's very, it's very much like, a, it's very instant. You, you know, it's like this thing about like short memory, you know? Uh, people want like a very quick answer for everything. And the quick answer is uh, go to a CG forum and be inspired by the first artist that shows a good work, you know? And then he pretty much gets inspired by that guy and try to produce something similar to that person. But he's not in fact like learning the basis for doing that. He can do it like great, you know, it's like he can do a great job kind of like mimicking that style and stuff, but he's not actually going to the basis and finding, you know, it's like out like all the good stuff about the anatomy knowledge, you know, it's like how the, the dynamics of the body, you know, the psychology of the character, the facial expressions and all this stuff, you know. It's almost like it, it's more like a reproduction uh, than a creation itself. And I think for every single artist, it's very important to uh, be able to reproduce, of course, uh, uh, what you see. It's an exercise, it's a great exercise. But I mean, you have to have your own ideas as well. 
And by your own ideas, I, I mean like it's a mix of everything that you see around you all the time. Because at this point, I don't know if it's possible to create anything, but you transform and you give your own impression of, right? So that's pretty much what I think, you know? It's like I think that's the importance of the, this whole thing about going back to some basics. Yeah, you know? th uh, the whole thing is like we have, I'm uh, gonna talk about this in the conference as well. Um, I'm not pretending I'm a better artist or anything. I know there's like many great artists working in this industry, but the, the fact is like there's lots of schools, you know, it's like uh, giving chance of all those kids to learn a lot of stuff about computer graphics to be ready for, you know, it's like to work in this industry already. Um, so at this point, I'm kind of like seeing a lot of, it's almost like a saturation of uh, talent somehow, but the talent I put in a place that's kind of like a, try, try to imagine like the artisan and the artist, you know, the artisan being this guy that he's producing something uh, without putting his uh, own feelings, you know, like in the emotions or anything. He's almost like creating this character, of course, like for a company or something, so you don't have a lot of input anyway. But I mean, like lots of uh, uh, personal works I've seen, you know, it's like they're amazing technically. They're really good technically, you know, but in terms of really telling a story, you know, it's like I, I find it very important to be like a storyteller, at least like on my personal work. I try to tell stories with my work. And I think this is one thing that's uh, pretty much like what artists normally, uh, at least my conception of an artist, is the guy that he can communicate, he can put his own feelings in there, he can talk to people through his work, you know, instead of like building like a beautiful, hyper detailed character that doesn't communicate, you know. So I think uh, um, in the future, the whole thing that's going to happen, at least in my impression about this, is that at some point you have, we're going to have like even a more saturated market with lots of raw talent, you know, it's like in really uh, amazing technicians working in this industry. But then maybe, just maybe, the company is going to be looking for uh, a little bit of more creativity, you know, someone able to create something. And then at this point, they have to distinguish themselves, you know, it's like kind of like, you know, I want to I wanna go uh, one step further and I want to become an artist, not just an artisan or just technician. So that's my impression of it. Uh, I mean, like there's so many things going on around the world, you know, it's like uh, everything can be a source of inspiration, you know, you can, uh, you know, sometimes it's a little bit um, tricky subject to talk about politics. Uh, uh, or religion, it's a very like sensitive point, you know, it's like it's CG talk, you know, it's like it's always hard to talk about those things in every single forum as well, because they try to pretty much, okay, let's talk about CG here. But uh, let's say I have, you know, it's like I'm 38 years old right now. I have many stories that happen in my life. And I have many stories that I can tell my children in the future. And, you know, I can always put together a mix of those things that happen in my life a mix of emotions that I developed during my life, you know, and try to figure out some, somehow, you know, some way to put those things out there so people can really see, you know, me through my art, you know, and I think this is an important point, you know, you can become an artist when you're really communicating again, you know, it's like when you're putting out your feelings and receiving, you know, some feedback, bad or good, you know, it's good feedback anyway. And uh, you're making, I think it, it's a way to make a difference, you know, it's like it's being an, uh, a different artist. And I, I, I've seen this a couple of times, but like I said, most of the time it's more like a technical spectacle, you know. But I want to see more artists really creating stuff. So.